Hi everyone! Okay, welcome back to my channel. Yes, today is really exciting because in today's video, I am going to challenge myself because I'm a little big piece of shit. Um, but of course, wait, yeah, I did say that I was a little big piece of shit, right? So let me tell you the reason why. And the reason why is because I have it right here. This. This thing, I don't know. I need to show it to you like this. So, this is basically my stash of sachets. I'm a saturita. <laughs> so this is actually my stash of my stash of sachets of all of the samples that I have sort of been accumulating. It's not even throughout the years, ah. Huh? This is literally the sachets that I have been accumulating since I came back to Malaysia, and this is maybe about a year. A year plus, okay, and these are the amount of sachets that I have been keeping. It's not on purpose, but first of all, we are in a freaking pandemic. We are not going, or not we, yeah, we, and especially me, I'm not going anywhere, so there's no reason for me to even use any of these sachets. So it's really quite wasteful, I feel. I literally have so many. So today's video is going to be a challenge for myself. I will go the whole day doing whatever it is that I'm going to do. That blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is that I'm going to do, I will have to use only the sachet. So there is sort of like a game plan. Technically, I have samples for everything. So even if I want to wash my hair here, I already have a shampoo and conditioner. Boom. And if you guys want to see me, I will show you guys the exact um, products that I use at that time that I'm going to use it. So I'll bring you guys along with me. And then for at least for the products that I've never used before, right? I'm going to try to use products that I've never used before, like basically. So I will try my very best not to just keep using or going back to the Loxotane products so that I can try the other um, skincare products. So in this case, I will probably try the Percy and Reed's shampoo and conditioner and then right after that, I will tell you guys how my hair feels and so on. So if you guys want to come along in this journey with me, please keep on watching. Yay! Alright, so along with my video today, I thought that it would be nice for me to do a very small giveaway um, just to say thanks to those people who have watched my video, who have stayed and who have commented on my video. Really, thank you so much for your support. I started this quote-unquote channel not... Be Ugh. Why did I start? So I started this channel because I really wanted to do something that I really love and also to take my mind off like this the, the stress that I get from work. So this whole how would I say this whole experience for me has been really calming and it has been really fun. So I just wanted to do a very small giveaway for you guys and I do not know where my audiences are because my channel is still very small but I do know that majority of the viewers I am currently getting are from Malaysia so at this point in time unfortunately um, these the little giveaway will only be for those people who are within uh, Malaysia. So whether you are in East Malaysia or West Malaysia, regardless, as long as you're in Malaysia, I will send these products to you. So if you're my friend, you can also join so that I can just give you these products in person. You know me anyway. So there will be three diff no, three things that I will give away. But before I tell you what those products are, I'm just going to tell you what the mechanics is going to be. So it's super, super simple. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I've linked my Instagram profile in my description below, but I've also, I'm also going to put my little Instagram, uh, what's that word? Handle here on the screen. It's so easy to find me. There's literally only one NG Bear. So follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. And once you are done with that, just comment down below on this video that you have done those things. And then I'll pick three winners at random. So this contest will be from 15th of November, which is on the day that this video is going up, until 
the 15th of December so that when I send you the products it is really in the hopes that you will get it by Christmas so it's a little Christmas present for you guys for supporting my channel okay now what am I going to give you guys so for this little giveaway I'm going to give you guys some origins products and two of those products or two of the little prizes will be this set right here it is actually the origins ginseng moisturizer you've seen me use this in my origins video i really love this and also the origins ginseng refreshing eye cream and a flower fusion orange sheet mask so i have two of these to give away all you have to do is just follow the very simple mechanic and the other one is going to be four products it is going to be the clear improvement active charcoal mask i actually use this product guys i use it for my pores on my nose and then it's going to be a little brother a bigger version of the ginseng um, energy boosting gel moisturizer so you've also seen me use this product i really love this product and and then the other one is going to be the Planscription Anti-Aging um, Power Serum. I've never personally used this product, but I actually got this when I bought like a, a bundle. But I don't personally use this, but I've also heard quite good reviews on this. And the other, the last one is going to be this really cute L'Occitane 10 percent Shea Butter Lip Balm. So it's an ultra-rich lip balm. So four of these cute little products together. So. Remember guys, it's so simple for you guys to join. It's not a contest, it's just going to be given out randomly on on, on 15th of December when the mini giveaway closes. So it's really wanting to thank you guys for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel. So it's so simple. Make sure once you're done with that, you can comment down below and when you win, I will personally comment on your comment if you are chosen to be the winner so that we can then get in touch and I can get your details to send these items to you guys. Okay, so back to my challenge. Okay, so I just did a very rough count of the amount of sachet samples that I have and it is about 57 of them. So of course the majority of the sachets that I have with me are from Luxatan. So I did say that I am going to try my very best not to use all of the Luxatan products. I'm going to try to use some of the other samples or sachets that I received into my whole uh, challenge today. So I just finished a yoga session with my best friend. So I don't know if you can see but I'm really stanky right now. So I'm going to hop into the shower and when I hop into the shower, I am going to use this Percy and Reed Wonder Wash Shampoo and the Wonder Care Conditioner and then for my soap I will be going in with the almond shower oil so I only actually have one sachet of facial wash so this is going to be it this is the L'Occitane en Provence <laughs> Immortal Precise Fluid. So I'm going to use this to wash my face. So once I'm done with that, I will then come back here to show you guys what I will then use for my, what do you call it, my, my face care routine. So we'll check back. Okay guys, so I just came out of the shower and as you can see my hair is still wet. I use these three products. As you can see, the, Pierce, the Percy and Reed's shampoo and conditioner and then the almond shower oil and also the immortal fluid so before i actually like dry my hair and do all of the other skincare with the other sachets i think right off the bat my hair feels actually quite soft surprisingly and the smell is quite okay although because i have been going to the salon a lot to wash my hair uh, my hair still smells like the shampoo and the toner that they have been using but this smell actually is very a la Percy and Reed smell because a few many many months ago actually I bought one of their I think it was sort of like a leave-on conditioner it smells exactly like that it smells quite refreshing I really really like it my hair was so easy to, to comb through because normally my hair is quite uh, tangled when I when I come out from the shower so the hair feels quite soft so I'm gonna dry my hair later to see the, the end result so now that we are going to go into the actual skincare routine of my face I do not know what products to use because most of the other sachets that are not L'Occitane products are 
basically moisturizes but I've been really super gravitating to this Star Skin Pink Cactus Pudding here because it's a hydrate and glow all day moisturizer. What is this? A luscious silky soft pudding concentrate of highly nutritive prickly pear cactus seed oil, thirst quenching cactus extracts and smoothing hyaluronic acid for an addictive long lasting glow. To use, apply evenly on freshly cleaned face and neck. Every AM and PM works well under makeup to multiply the hydrating effects. Use after pink <gasps> mist. Okay, so this is obviously a moisturizer. So I will most definitely be using this one but because I don't have serum uh, instead of using the reset serum I'll probably just go in and try this immortal uh, precise serum instead so this is what I'm going to try today I've never tried this product so I'm just gonna go in with this this product is basically Okay, so this one, this serum helps power up your skin's natural ability to renew itself for more youthful skin. That's the typo here. This serum helps power up your skin natural ability. A little English grammar typo, but it's okay. So we're just going to try this. I'm really worried about using the non-loxetan products because we all know what that does to my face. Uh, if I've never tried the products before, so we will see. Okay, this is very a la the, the scent, the normal scent of the Immortal. So it looks like this. It's white cream, so you will see. It actually doesn't feel like a serum, it feels more like a, a watery cream, which is a bit weird. So it's okay, we will just try it. Mm. It actually dried down really quickly. Um, feels not bad actually. I don't mind. Hmm. Okay, we'll just let the product sit for a while. Um, there's still product left in here, so I will probably need to finish it by today. Just to make sure it's okay. I just feel like my face is a little bit tight because it feels quite dry, so I will, re I will need a very hydrating moisturizer later, which I am really hoping this Star Skin one will help. And then, so since I'm done with that, I'm just going to go in with the eye balm. So instead of using the reset, I'm just going to go in with the Immortal Precise Eye Balm. Yes, let's try this. It actually smells a bit different from the normal scent of the Immortal, so we will just try. I'm not sure if I took a bit too much product, but it's a bit tacky. And as someone who don't normally use eye cream, <laughs> this is a very foreign feeling for me. So I know it's something that I really have to start using, but you know, with the so many steps of the skincare, sometimes I just get really, really lazy. So don't judge me. But Is it helping? <laughs> okay, I know it's not supposed to like give you instant results, but yeah, feels not too bad. Mm, I feel good. Okay, next. What else can I use? I actually have a lot of different moisturizers actually, but since I already said I will use this Star Skin one, so I'll just try this Star Skin one first. Let's open it together. Oh my gosh, the struggle is real. Okay, yeah. <gasps> Let me show you how it looks like. Ooh. It doesn't really smell like anything, but it really has the consistency of pudding. So I don't know, I may have just put too much on but oh yeah it feels like pudding Ew, cute this is really cute okay I'm just gonna warm it up on my hands and then I'm just gonna put it all over my face it has a scent to it as well oh it feels a lot so I'm just going to the back of my ear because that is also where it's always very dry gonna go all the way up into my hairline because that's also where it's always very very dry 
open. Yeah. As you can see, I have like dry patches around my nose. Um, it's always a problem, I don't know why. Um, that's normally the first indication I get when sometimes a product may be too strong for my skin. It starts to like have little redness here. So I will normally hold back on like some of the new products in this area in the hopes that it will go away. So the one on my left hand side has already officially left the building except the right one. It's almost like it has one foot out the door but it just doesn't want to get out. So yeah. Okay. It feels very moisturizing actually but it also kind of feels quite oily. I don't know if you can see my hands. It's actually quite oily but I also think that it is because it is sort of like a pre-makeup kind of primer so it's not too bad it feels a bit tacky and I think because of that what I'm going to do is I am probably going to put on some makeup and then dry my hair and then I'll come back to give like my not so final review but final review of the products that I've tried all right and here we are I'm done with my hair sort of so dried it, it still feels really soft. It smells like the shampoo as well. Yeah, it's a bit I mean of course you won't get the salon kind of like blow dry, right? But it still feels really really soft. So I really like it. And I obviously understand why they give you guys like or they give customers free samples or like sachets right because oh my gosh as i was putting on my makeup i just tried to be very very light with my makeup today like i probably used like a pea-sized amount or like a 10 cent coin so 10 cent coins in malaysia looks like that amount of foundation on my face and it went on so well after putting on this product here so now the question is wow would i try that that full size product and i really feel like it made my skin like grip on the makeup so nicely and i'm putting on very little powder as well. I only bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, translucent powder, right? And my makeup just feels so good today. It's a very basic makeup, honestly. I just have foundation on, which is my go-to La Mer foundation with my Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent powder. I put on my brows as usual. There's no uh, mascara, no eyelashes. Mm -hmm that's mascara there's no eyeshadow nothing and then obviously I went in with my cheek tint my Sunny's face peached air blush which looks really really cute and then a little, some highlighter from sleek just a little bit here and then topped it off with my 3CE fig lipstick and that's it my face just feels so cute cute but the makeup just really felt like it went on really nicely so I guess trying or doing this challenge did have some of its benefit definitely I also kind of low-key like this two product together when I tried it on honestly but anyway I still have all of the full-size products from lots of time anyway uh, anyway anyway so it's not like I'm changing brands or things like that I will still consider because this range I think it's quite expensive okay wait, there's no very cheap products in lots of time but anyway this is me not actually going to hold it yet right now I have a problem because I have makeup on I don't know how I'm gonna get off my makeup with no more facial wash left but I might just cheat and use the oil to get off my makeup so I will let you guys know when it's the end of the day and I'm going to take off my makeup so I'm going to use that and then of course I can try the other uh, products please stay tuned to that but of course don't forget that the contest is now finally open it's not a contest my giveaway is finally open when you watch this video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a like on this video you can follow me on Instagram I'll pop up my Instagram handle again but my Instagram handle is also linked in my description box below once you've done all of those mechanics just comment on this video to let me know that you're done and then when I pick the winners I will get in touch with you guys so just keep on watching for the end of the day okay guys so it is 7 30 already and it is 
the end of the day you can also see that my makeup is done for the day as well oily oily my lipstick is like done i spent the whole day i don't know what i was doing now lazing around and then i went out for a while so now it's time for me to take out my makeup and then finish it off with my nighttime skincare routine with my sachets so remember i initially in the morning would be considered in the morning i had the <laughs> I only had one sachet of uh, facial wash right so now it's finished and I have makeup on which I don't know how I'm going to take up because it is still a challenge with my sachets right so I thought that it would make sense if I use the almond shower oil to remove my makeup so I didn't use mascara today because I knew it would be such a little pain to like take it off so I'm assuming that this will be hopefully okay for me to use to take up my makeup and wash my face. So I'm going to use the shower oil to take up my makeup and right after that I'm going to use the reset serum because I have to use this at night and then right after that I will use the youth oil and then I will use no, okay, so I'm going to use this one. This one is the Essie Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate moisturizer so this one what it does it's radiant energy lotion intense moist yeah so i will use this as my moisturizer but i somehow feel like it is a toner i don't know why if it is a toner then i will actually try the nars skin luminous moisture cream so just in case it's not enough it cannot be not enough lah. so i will wash this off and then i will come back and use the products with you guys and then i'll tell you how i feel after using these two products because i already know how these two products work so i will tell you guys how these products work so i'll be right back okay so i thought just so that i prove that i'm not going to cheat i'm gonna open this and use it on camera so that you will see um, it actually has 6 ml so it's a lot of product i will most probably be like probably no 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 okay it's oily it's so watery so i'll most probably be putting this in my full size whatever when i'm done with this okay so the oil is on me oh, oh. I don't know if this is a good idea, but it kind of looks like my makeup is coming now, so... <laughs> At least I can say that my skin kind of smells so luxurious right now because this almond shower oil is like... <sniffs> but please, please, do not try this yourself. I am so worried that I might fluff up my face, oh my gosh, knowing how sensitive my skin is, but we are still trying, so... Okay, I'm gonna wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done and <laughs> actually my face feels quite quite nice actually, quite soft, quite still very ooh, supple. It's a very good word to use to describe how I feel right after that. So far I feel quite okay. There's no particular tightness or dryness I feel on my skin. It actually feels quite soft, which I'm pleasantly surprised. So okay. Now next to uh, next but next on the list is this. I'm going to be using my reset oil in serum because of course we have to use it. So put some amount here. Just gonna warm it on my hands. So I don't know the efficacy of how long the products last in your sachet. So I think it's really important for me to like use it as fast as possible so it's really my fault la, that i didn't use all of those sachets it's kind of a, a waste and you know furthermore i just bought like the new um, oil in reset serum right, which was the 75 ml one because i couldn't resist it's the big one and then she was telling me that it is limited edition and so on and so on after you use your oil in reset you always go in with your youth oil so that is what i'm going to do now Yep, can't use that anymore. So, just warming it up in my hands. As you can see, 
I think I put too much, so I'm just gonna pat it on my face first. And then go down on my neck. I clearly I put too much. Oh my gosh, I feel so oily. Yep, too much. <laughs> too much. Yeah, I guess that's also one thing why I seldom use sachet so much. I never know how much I can use and if it's supposed to be like a few users, right? Do I still keep it in the sachet? Do I put it somewhere? I clearly don't have those like small containers to put the products in. So I'm gonna wait for a while for the product to seep in to my skin before I go into the next step. So let's try this one. Let's open it first. It's so oily. Here, it looks like a gel and it is <laughs> I really think it's a toner so I can't be using it after I've put my serum I'm so dumb <laughs> you know what let's just do it let's just do it don't care a few drops my face is going to be so moisturized today so Mm. There's no smell to this one. Don't judge my screw up steps, but we're just gonna try it today. Final step. I will try the oil free moisturizer. So it's a gel consistency, and I'll try it. You see, so this is what I will be using the Nars Skin Oil Free, the little oil free gel moisturizer. Okay, so. Let's just look at the consistency first. Okay. Ooh, a lot. Like this. It has a smell. It smells a bit chemically though, so now I'm worried if I should really put it on my skin. So I'm just going to... The smell is not very pleasant, to be completely honest. But we will just try. And I'm done. So there's still a lot of product left on my hands, but it's okay. My whole face feels sorry. My whole face feels really moisturized. I I don't know if it's because of the uh, so many factors. I don't know if it's because of the shower oil that left my face feeling like really I would say oily but not in a bad way. It just feels very supple to the touch and with all of the other products that I use, I just feel like my face is so moisturized and to be to be fair, right? I don't think I've felt this kind of like smoothness on my face before which is quite weird because normally when I use that sheer butter it just feels very like oily, very creamy kind of oily but this one is a very different type of oil that I've felt and if you can see my face right, I have breakouts here which you can see here this is clearly, I don't know, stress and the amount of chocolates that I have been eating and the breakouts here and even the breakouts here, right? It's those little bumps which I have very bad habit of picking my, my scabs and my scars. It's just me, but the other parts of my face, like my temples, which don't normally have uh, pimples on, it feels really, really smooth and really, really soft, which I'm very surprised. So, to... That's it. That's it. That's that's my challenge today, which was I don't want to sound so cocky and say easy. It was not the easiest, but I think it was such a fun such a fun 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 challenge for me to do. Um and it also really challenged me in a way to try the other products. Again, I'm always so afraid to try products that I've never tried before. But I think at this point in time, there, there are a few brands out there that I've always gravitated to and I now really, really trust with their products. And of course, not surprisingly, that brand is definitely L'Occitane. The Nars Skin one, actually this was pretty nice on my skin so I will, I will try to use finish all of these products before it goes bad. And even this Estee Lauder one right, when I put it on it felt pretty okay. I had, I had no problem with that so 
these other products that are half open oh my gosh especially this one now i'm really tempted to go and buy the actual size product but we will i will think about that and then i will let you know if i actually get it so i think today alone i have managed to use 11 out of the 57 sachets that i have it's it's a pretty good day so what i would do next is i would most definitely be pouring the leftover youth oil into a different jar so that i can use that in the upcoming months because it's product I use every day except for the reset serum I don't think that's a way for me to like put it into my current jar cleanly and I think it might just screw up the product a little bit so I think just putting the oil would be easier but yeah so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I, I want to see how many more products I can collect or continue to collect and then I'll probably do a challenge part 2 but don't forget guys you can still join my giveaway it's going to be for one month it's closing on the 15th of December 11.59pm but this is following Malaysia time so it is for now only open to my fans oh fans <laughs> or my viewers in Malaysia only but of course I will see how how this works and if i do have another little giveaway in the upcoming months it will definitely be for everyone so of course i'm still trying to like find my little footing here in my very small channel but i'm really happy that you guys are following me on this journey so i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye